Well, hello there. My name is Mark Hundley, and this is Live at Five for a Monday afternoon. It is now the second Monday of June. I don't know where you are or what the weather's like where you are, but where I am, it's hot, very hot outside. So uh, if you are if you find yourself in a hot place, please make sure you're, you're drinking enough water, you're keeping yourself hydrated, things are going well for you, and, and that you're taking care of yourself um, on, on this time. Let me... Um, let me talk to you a little bit about today. Um, well, before I, I do that, let me ask. Last weekend, I, when we, we finished last week with when it is what it is, I hope you had a chance to do some pondering and some thinking about when it is what it is and what you're going to do about that when it is what it is. Today, we're talking about tails wagging dogs and wingtips flying eagles. So let me ask this question. Does, does this title to this, this episode um, have you scratching your head just a little bit and wondering some? Well, if so, that's good. That's the point. Uh, I work in what I do to stay away from political commentary. I, I work to post thoughts and ideas that focus on personal, professional, and spiritual growth. And in doing so, I know that occasionally I step across that line just a tad and step into that political arena. Instead of posting some partisan diatribe, and let me tell you, I am really capable of posting e either in writing or, or verbally uh, some emotional diatribes. I choose instead to work to present thoughts that come from somewhere in the middle. On the surface, that might seem a bit cowardly. However, I believe that it might be a position that requires a bit more thought, contemplation, and planning than leading with my sometimes faulty emotional side. And believe me, I've gotten myself into some trouble through the years by leading with my pesky little emotions. Don't know about you. That being said... I've been on a, on a bit of an experiment over the past several months. I've worked to craft posts and videos that stand as squarely in the, the center as humanly possible. I've worked to keep my personal political leanings um, out of my words. I've worked instead to present thoughts that, if pondered or followed, might produce some pretty cool outcomes, I think. I've discovered a, a funny reality during this process. When I do a, a fairly decent job of writing or are sharing in such a manner, I find that friends on both sides of the middle, and I do have friends on both sides of the middle, I find that friends on both sides of the middle tend to agree with what I've said and send me kudos to back that up. I almost wonder, though, is if they read or listen, they perceive that I am on their side. Uh, if so, perhaps I've not done as good a job as I might think. I'll ponder that a bit more. Any, anyway, I, I want to attempt another such statement. Here we go. Tails wagging dogs. Now close your eyes for just a second. You don't have to close your eyes. I think that phrase just creates a picture. Tails wagging dogs. Envision that one. Um, tails wagging dogs. That would be silly. Be unnatural. Bizarre. Completely incomprehensible. A mentor of mine many years ago, this was one of his favorite statements, and he used it frequently. And in fact, he used it so often that an artist actually drew a picture for him of a, of a tail with little legs, a tail wagging a dog. Um, I love that picture and I'll always remember it. Uh, looking at it caused me to laugh initially, and yet it caused me to cringe at the same time. Why, you ask? Well, it, it clearly portrayed the crazy nature of such an unthinkable event. <laughs> I remember thinking the first time I saw it, poor dog, it can't eat or drink or jump or run. It can't do anything that a dog is supposed to do. Well, what does that have to do with where we are now? Well, in my humble, bald-headed, cowboy-hatted opinion, a great deal. We currently live in a world where many tails are wagging dogs, politically, religiously, educationally, relationally, uh, economically, and socially. Many of the systems on which we depend to lead us through the uncertainty of this world are doing so from an appendage attached squarely to their collective butts. Seriously? Does that give, doesn't that just engender some, some confidence? Well, in a word, nope. Come on, we are better than this. We can do and be and act better than this. And yet every day I see more and more dogs finding themselves thrust nose first into the air, unable to regain footing and thereby relegated to seeing only what the tails want them to see. See what I mean? Hmm. Okay, on, the, on to the other picture. Wingtips, flying eagles. Well, 
I should more accurately say wingtips either crashing eagles or grounding them indefinitely. Everyone knows that a bird, and in particular the eagle to which I refer, can only fly when the strong muscles associated with flight and intricately attached to the center of the torso are engaged. Flight is not possible if the eagle attempts to take off simply by moving the tips of the wings, or any other place on the wing for that matter. No, it takes the muscles attached to either side of the torso to make flight possible. Once airborne, the eagle uses all other parts of the, of the wings, both, both of them, mind you, not just one wing, but both of them, including the tips, to maintain and adjust flight. Every part of each side of the wings is important, vital even, for flight to continue. However, only when the muscles attached to each side of the torso are engaged is flight possible. I believe a Native American proverb, can't remember which one, and I could be wrong here, says that it takes both wings for the eagle to fly and that those wings have to be attached to the same bird. The eagle needs both the left and the right wing. One without the other renders the eagle useless. Attempting to fly from the wingtips is absolutely ludicrous. I hope and I believe that you see my point here. We must stop leading and allowing ourselves to be led by those who tend to allow their tails to wag them. We must stop attempting to follow the tips of the wings or anything not attached directly to the appropriate side of the torso to, ascent, to attempt to set flight. We must find a place closer to the muscles, just to the left and just to the right of the middle, in order to take off and soar. Now, if, you place, if your place is somewhere further along the wing, perhaps the middle of the middle, halfway between the torso, or even the tip uh, of, of the extreme tip of the wing, that's great. We all have our place on the wings. Just know that your place is to help stabilize and adjust the flight, not to make flight so. Think about it. As funny as tails wagging dogs and wingtips flying eagles might appear, the outcome of allowing and encouraging either or both only stands to reason that if we do so, and the more we do so, we will become impotent as people. A little bit fanciful, a little bit strange. I thank you for joining me this afternoon. I look forward to tomorrow afternoon, perhaps a bit briefer uh, segment, I hope you have a great evening. Come back and see me tomorrow. Peace.